All right, so in this video, I'm going to do the shift sprint or control sprint functionality for a phone. And what you need to do, just to test it out, come up here to the upper right hand corner of your scene and hit that little phone looking thing. And now you got a phone to test on, right? And you can select your different devices. And the different devices will have different screen layouts. So if you want your stuff to work for everybody, you should test at least a few of these. Well, if you want it for everybody, you got to test for everybody, right? All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my starter player scripts, add a local script. So we need a little sprint button to appear on the phone if people are playing on a phone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I'll make this um, control sprint. All right. I, I'm going to do control sprint. You can do either. You can do control. I'll show you where to change it. Control sprint. I should put one for control sprint phone. I'm just doing this for the phone, but you get the idea. So I need a variable for my context action service. I say game get service context action service. This is going to allow me to put the little button on my phone. Right now, I need two keys to bind. Well, I only need one key to bind, but I'm going to I'm going to do both sides. So I'm going to do a left control and a right control. Uh, the key code for left control is that if you do shift, right, you can change it right here. So that's all it takes to change control from to a shift is that right there. So I'll do one for R run, enum, key code, and this is going to be a right control. All right, and now I need a remote event. So I need replicated storage, game, get service replicated storage and here is my remote event so I'll do RS wait for child and I'm gonna call this run RE just like in one of the other videos I did a I did something similar and I'm gonna go to replicated storage and add a remote event because I want to set my run speed on the server side all right so I'll say run RE now I need to get my player because I want to get my sound, right? So I'm going to say local player. I want to change the sound when I run. I want it to, I want it to go faster footsteps. Get service, players. I'll do my local player. And then for my local player, I'm going to get my character. Character, or if it's not, not added yet, character added weight. All right. And then I want to get my root part for my humanoid root part because that's where the sound is now. So I'll say char wait for child. And let me see what I got. Humanoid, humanoid root part. There we go. Does that look good? Yes, that looks fine. And now let's get our sound. The sound is on the root part. And might as well do another wait for child, right? Wait for child. And that's the running sound. Okay, now we need a function. Whoops, I always spell local wrong. And I type it more than anything else. We need a function called handle context. You can actually call it whatever you want, but it's going to handle the context action service. And I'm going to pass in a name, a state, and an input. And if the state equals enum user input state begin, we're going to do a bind that will make that look more, make that, uh, make that more obvious of what it's doing. So I'm going to get my sound. Uh, what is a playback speed? Because I want it, this is my run now. So I want it to go faster. I spell that right. Sound playback speed. I got it. So four. It's going to be. I'm going to make it a multiple of four. So a multiple two is is the regular speed, and then the sprint will be four. Now I'm going to send a remote event. I'm going to fire server. And I'm going to send the speed that we're running at. I'm just going to write 32 there. All right. After that. So else, if the state does not have that begin, if you've put your finger, if you took your finger off of that sprint button, 
or the control key, right? Player, playback, I always do player. Playback speed will equal two, because this is gonna be like a walk or a typical jog like they usually do in the game. Fire server, 16. Alrighty, now let's go down here because we got to do some stuff for our button, for our context button for the phone. So I'm going to say cast for um, context action service. I'm going to bind the action. So the name of the action is going to be sprint. And I'll say handle context, get rid of those two extra parentheses. That's what's going to be the uh, function handler. True. And then this is, these are my keys that I bind. L run and R run. Cass. Let me see if I can go up a little bit. Set position. So this is a little bit unintuitive, right? So we're gonna set the position of where our button's going to go, but it's going to be on the context frame, which is not the entire screen GUI. So you will have to play with this to try and get it just where you want it. I put mine at 20% on the X, 50% on the Y, with no, with no pixel offsets. All right, now we're gonna set the title. This is actually gonna be a little easier, right? So title, and this is the name of our, of our context action service button. And then this is gonna be the title I have my cast. Now I'm going to get button. Sprint. I'm going to set the size. I'll use a UDIM2. New. And I'll make it 0 0.3, 0, 0.3, and 0. So 30% of the, of the context frame. All right. Now let's go ahead and do the server side for the run because it's really it's really quick. I'm going to get my remote event, my replicated storage, and my remote event uh, variables up here. I'm going to copy them, and I'm going to go to server script service. I'm going to add a script. I'm going to say change walk or something, or, or make sprint or something like that. Make sprint. There we go. I'm going to put those two variables to get my remote event. And now I'll just say local function change speed player is going to come in for free we didn't have to send that and we did send this speed and i'm just going to do player character humanoid walk speed equals speed and now let's just get our remote event and listen for the on server event connect it to change speed get rid of those two extra parentheses all right now let's try it let's see what we got i'm excited i got this less than 10 minutes all right there it is so unfortunately you can't test it on your computer but if you push this to um, roblox and you play it on your phone it will work because i already did it and i'm going to actually do it again after the video i don't want to I don't want to try and videotape that. That's going to be hard. But there you go. You have it. So I'm going to run. Let me run again. Press the button. Unpress the button. Press the button. Unpress the button. All righty. So good luck with that. I know that people neglect phones all the time. And you can see why because it's pretty complicated. Uh, but good luck for you phone people. And let me know if you have any questions. And I'm going to add a stamina system in for uh, another video coming up.